COVID-19 continues to crush hospitals across the country and in the Carolinas. Relief might not come for several more weeks. That's because patient counts rise to new highs every day, but health officials don't think we've seen the full scope of the holiday surge. Here's Vanessa Rufus with their dire warning. With New Year's Eve just a few days behind us, health officials say we haven't yet seen the full impact of the holidays on our numbers. But even without those impacts, hospital systems have already had to make big changes to meet the need. During the pandemic, we've expanded our bed capacity by approximately 60%. Dr. David Priest with Novant Health says the holidays are now threatening to squeeze resources even more. Healthcare providers bracing for Christmas and New Year's related cases. We believe that January is going to be a rough month across the region for our healthcare providers, um, and uh, our opinion on that has not changed. New Mecklenburg County numbers reflecting trends we're watching regionally too record breaking cases and hospitalizations. In fact, countywide COVID patient numbers set a record Sunday. The count has more than doubled over the last. 30 days. While today we have the necessary beds, the staffing, the personal protective equipment to care for all those who need it, we need the help of our communities to ensure this continues to be the case. Mecklenburg Health Director Gibby Harris agrees. More COVID vigilance is needed going forward. Since looking back, it's clear some of it slipped during the holidays. We anticipate seeing more cases. I'd like to think that that's not going to be the case, but we are expecting to see a continuous increase for at least another couple of weeks. North Carolina's modified stay at home order is set to expire Friday, so it is possible that Governor Roy Cooper could announce further restrictions sometime this week. We do know the governor has scheduled a COVID-19 update for Wednesday afternoon. I'm Vanessa Rufus reporting back to you.